Today we chat with MC Sports Hawk and learn how he got his success on YouTube. Then, as always, we find out who the three winners are in the $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. What's up, Freedom Family? My name is Aaron. In today's episode of Impulse, we're going to dive deep into the mind of another successful YouTuber. Today being MC Sports Hawk, he's going to show you guys how he went from rags all the way up to YouTube stardom. A little bit of information about him. He actually started uploading videos on Black Ops Zombies, and now he's doing Clash of Clans. So if you're a really big Clash of Clans fan, go check out his channel. All right, enough of me talking. Let's dive into this successful YouTuber's mind and figure out how in the world he did it. All right, MC Sports Hawk. When did you realize that you actually started succeeding on YouTube? First time I thought I was doing really well on YouTube was when I had 75 subs. I came into school and I was like, dude, I got 75 subscribers. How crazy is that? 75 people is a lot of people. Uh, but that was the first moment I, was, I thought I was doing really well. And then that summer I hit 10,000 and I realized that this was actually going to go somewhere. What is the most important ingredient in order to build a successful channel on YouTube? All right, so there's a lot of things you want to keep in mind when you're creating a channel, trying to be successful. I'd say the most important thing is being consistent. If you can post consistently every once a week or twice a week, or even if you can do it every day, whatever you, whatever works for you, as long as it's consistent, your viewers know when your videos are going to come out, they know when to expect them, they know to be looking for a new video on this date, that's probably the most uh, important tip I could give you guys for being successful. Other things is, you know, stay at it, don't give up too easily. Do what you want to do. Don't do what people keep you know, telling you to do or pressure you to do. Do what you want to do. Do what your fans love doing. And uh, that's probably the two best tips I could give you for being successful. When did you realize you were uploading content that people wanted to see more of? I can't decipher between World at War video, World at War Zombies, or Black Ops Zombies, but any, any one of the Easter egg videos that I posted would always do well, and people absolutely went off for the Black Ops Zombies. So I'd say uh, Black Ops Zombies was my turning point, and at that point I realized like this is definitely what I enjoy doing. This is what people want to see. This is what works. This is what my channel is going to be about. All right, guys. Now before we continue, let's go back to Tiffany to see who the winners are in today's $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. So what have we learned today, people? Consistency, consistency, consistency. You know that, and don't give up. Don't don't give up. That's a good idea too. And note to self: save the MC Sports Hawk video for. Those motivational days. And now, as always, in no particular order, let's announce the two runners up in the $100,000 sponsorship, picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And you get to choose from all these lovely prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. Freedom. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about with this $100,000 sponsorship, click the video in the sidebar for more information. And now to Rick for the runners up, since he knows something about stealing. I'm Consistency. He knows something about consistency. Consistency. Our first runner-up is the SimSim Sim Project. What a great, great user username name. She indicated that being very active in the comments within her videos generated a huge increase in subscribers. She highly advises the Freedom Family to do the same since it worked for her. Our next runner-up is Screen Siege Films. SSF explains how he was able to collaborate with Josh Blaylock, an actor from Video Game High School, by asking him for an interview. This caused an immediate increase in growth along with 23,000 plus views on that video alone. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, and remember, you are still eligible to win first prize in a future episode. And now back to Aaron for the rest of the interview. Thanks, Tiffany. Congratulations, Freedom Partners. I hope you guys are taking notes on the YouTube tips that they're putting down in the comments so then that way it can help you grow your channel. All right, MC Sports Talk, what major challenges did you overcome while building your successful channel? All right, so the ongoing challenge right now is the fact that I'm sitting in college and university right now. I got a dual major. Uh, without going into details, it takes a absolute ton of time to do all my schoolwork, uh, the outside activities, uh, you know, get sleep, social events. There's so many things going on here. And then on top of that, I have this job, although I consider it more of a hobby than a job. Uh, doing YouTube takes so much time. It takes hours to make a video. So finding a balance of time has been my absolute number one challenge to overcome. And I think I've done a good job of it. I've learned how to time manage really well. And that's probably something you'll have to do too, whether you're in high school, in college, even if you're, you know, you're, you're an older person starting it up, if you have a job, family, kids, whatever, uh, you got to manage time, and it's, it's not something you can just pick up and do all the time. So I say time management is definitely the biggest challenge to overcome. 
What is your favorite comment you ever received? Every once in a while, I'll get a comment that says I sound like Jonah Hill. And I've actually compiled about 200 of them that say I sound like Jonah Hill. I'm going to make a video about it soon. But they all think I sound like Jonah Hill and I don't see it. I don't understand it. What is the most insulting comment you've ever seen? You gotta have a, a little bit of a wall. You're gonna get hate a lot, no matter what you do. No matter if you're the greatest person on earth, you're gonna get hate. And some of the worst comments I've gotten are pretty bad. I, the one I can remember very vividly that I had to block the guy. He would always come back and be like, you're, you're awful, I wanna kill you. I hope your family gets cancer. Like, terrible stuff. Like, completely awful stuff. I had to block him because there's no room for that in my comment section. Out of all things that have happened on YouTube, what is your biggest accomplishment? I guess I would say the amount of subs I have right now. I'm almost at 300,000. That's a big accomplishment. I, I think just more than that, really, than the numbers, I think the biggest accomplishment has been being able to do it for five years consistently with all the other things that I have to do and could be doing. Uh, I think keeping it a part of my life has been the best decision and the biggest accomplishment for me so far. Well guys, that was a lot of information. Hope you guys enjoyed learning a lot from MC Sport Talks' journey from going from rags to riches on YouTube. If there's a favorite YouTuber that you have that you would love to see on this show, put it in the comments below and also make sure to follow us on Impulse This to see who the next YouTube celebrity is going to be and then that way you could comment or pick a tweet of any questions that you might have for this guy or if you have any comments at all if you like the guy if you don't like the guy make sure to put a hashtag impulse this in your next tweet all right guys now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for the grand prize winner of today's hundred thousand dollar sponsorship powered by freedom tiffany and now for the moment you've all been waiting for the way we do every day let's find out who the winner is of the 250 dollars in grand prizes you get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by our partners with freedom take it away rick because that's what you do best and today's winner is aaron Payne magic 101 aaron provided a helping hand to a ton of freedom partners who had questions about anything youtube related he also showed several ways to help everyone cope with bullying as well as made it very clear to stop posting their prior comments from previous videos just to win prizes and instead share ways to help solve this serious issue in today's society Congratulations, Aaron Payne Magic 101. If we were in a plane crash together, I'd adjust your oxygen mask before my own. And that's against Sky Code. Congratulations, Freedom Partner, on a job well done. Remember, guys, share your knowledge, discuss today's topic, and interact with other Freedom Partners in the comments below. Right down there. Do it. You can be rewarded for bringing the community together as a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse, and tomorrow Mike is going to go over some really random stuff in your house that you can use to make films. Yeah, I think there's a like vacuum involved. I don't know, maybe a blender. Until next time, I'm your host Tiffany, and I'm glad I'm not in college anymore. God, that sucks. This is why I'm not allowed to make YouTube videos on my own. <laughs> Now we're having to do this video a second time. Uh.